Fisher Hex, and in today's video we'll be adding five peppermint shrimp to the 125 gallon reef tank. Now this is the first time I put peppermint shrimp in this particular tank. I'm hoping that it all goes well with the snowflake eel. Now I do have two cleaner shrimp in here, but that's a whole new species. He knows that they're there to benefit him. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, keep my fingers crossed that he doesn't find the peppermint shrimp to be a snack. So just in case, I'm gonna put two peppermint shrimp in the sump and then put three in the main display. Now, the reason why I chose peppermint shrimp is I have found two small aptasia underneath the frog spawn there on the bottom right hand side. Uh, they're very, very small. So I'm gonna give the peppermint shrimp a time to eat them. And if it's not gone in about a week, I will come in here and take care of it uh, manually with a, a kelp wasp, kelp wasp or paste, sorry. And I'll do a whole video on that if we end up going down that route. Um, yesterday I did add a red emerald crab. Um, he's just in there. I hope probably we'll never see him again, but uh, he's pretty cool. I've never had a red one before, and uh, so I figured why not. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is these five pepper shrimp are um, just like the quarantine tank. They are basically getting adapted to the temperature of the tank. I will put all five of these in a container, and I will drip them to make sure that their salinity is where it needs to be, uh, uh, basically matching the tank. And then we will add them to the, uh, the reef. So let's go ahead and uh, put them in the container because they've already been sitting in here for about half an hour or so. So let's get them dripped in, into the tank. All right, let's time to put the three in the main display. I went ahead and turned the flow off just in case. I don't want them blowing around. So I'm come in here and grab one real quick. One, oh, two, get one more. Zay, Zay, don't you even think about it, bro. Of course, leave it up to the uh, sailfin tank to be chasing them around. All right, so we put three in there. They seem to be fine. Dams was chasing a little bit, but they found their hiding places and looked to be good. I'm gonna put the other two in the sump or refugium. All right, it's time to add the other two to the sump. Grab this one. And the clownfish is still down here. I'm still trying to find somebody to buy him. Oh, gotta get the last one. He doesn't want to be caught. All right. And there's a bunch of rock in there where they can hide and, and do what they got to do. So I know that those two will be safe. The clownfish won't bother them. And uh, yeah, so that's about it, guys. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, like I said, if these peppermint shrimp do not take care of the aptasia, of course, the auto top off kicks on. I swear to God, every single time. Uh, if these, if these. Uh, Pepper shrimp don't take, take care of those two aptasia or whatever else there might be in the tank regarding that. Uh, we'll come back here in a week or so and um, manually nail that stuff with some calc wasser and, some, and a syringe. But I'm going to let uh, nature take its course and uh, if we have to come in and take care of it ourselves, we will. All right, so I appreciate you watching the videos. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.